This is Craig Hugert of alawfirmtrainer.com. In this video, I share with you a method for doing page numbering in legal documents that in working with over 1,000 legal professionals I have never seen fail. First, we're going to draft a document with four sections. Section 1 will be the cover page, which will have no page numbering. Section 2 will include the table of contents and table of authorities. Section 2 will have baby Romans for page numbers. Section 3 will be the body of the document and will have Arabic numerals. And finally, Section 4 will be the appendix and will begin page numbering with A-1. The first step is to draft the document and insert next page section breaks as necessary. Of course, you could also section the document that has already been drafted. So I'm going to begin our not mock document with cover page and then I'll insert a next page section break. Then I'll have table of contents and I'll insert a regular page break and put in the table of authorities. Next, I want another next page section break for the body of my document. And finally, the appendix. I found it works best, I found I should say, it works best to work from the end of the document, work your way to the beginning of the document. This helps prevent missing a section in longer documents. So I'm going to scroll down to the very end of my document and get into the footer. I'm just going to right click and choose edit footer. First thing I want to do is to clear where this says same as previous. I want to break that link so I click this button link to previous and that link is broken because I want each footer to stand on its own. Now since this is the appendix I'm going to begin my page number with a dash and then I'll insert the automated part of the page number. And since I want that to begin with one then I need to go back in and format that page number. Then I'll use the Show Previous button to move to Section 3. And like before, I want to clear the link to Previous so that this one stands on its own as well. Then I'll put my page number in. This is for the body of our document, and again, we want it to begin with 1. Now we want to go to Section 2, which is our Table of Contents and Table of Authority section. Clear the link to Previous. Insert our page number. We want to do a couple of formatting changes here. We want to change these to Baby Romans. And of course we want them to start with little i. And then we go to the first section and there's no page numbers because that is our cover page. Using this method will save you time and frustration as you draft your documents.